So we're just west of Kenora now. Saturday morning. No traffic. Nice little twisties down through the lakes, around the lakes, I should say, and through the cliffs. And this is real, real nice, enjoyable riding. Almost nobody around, just head and eye out. Nice scenery. You know, you can let your eyes drift a little bit if the bike moves around, but no big panic. Lots of stuff to see. It's early Saturday morning, so it's easy on the bikes. It's cool. But it's just some of the reasons that, you know, not often if you're home, you get to get up like this and do this because you're home. But when you're on the road going somewhere and you're not stuck in a bunch of traffic, the weather, the temperature is just nice. Uh, you really get to see. You know, you just kind of look at the, the lay of the land and what's growing and the observations, you know, of the road cut through it and maybe what industries are. It gives you time just to think about without having to have your eyes. I mean, you know, you, in here, you're, you're watching for moose or into things, you know, stuff that comes off of vehicles. But you can just kind of relax your shoulders a bit. And just, you know, I, when I look at this, I mean, I see the earth. I see an opening between the trees with a road going somewhere connecting people. These trucks hauling things. Whatever drives the economy and the areas that you're at, and that's what I try to get in tune with. Like, what do people do here? Why did they move here? Were they born here? Is this home to them? To them, is it the greatest place? They never want to live anywhere else? We all say that. But when you're stuck on a highway, I won't say a highway, because I do like the highway, because that's part, again, of going somewhere. But to come off of the highways and to get caught up in too much traffic where your mind can't get past your windshield, you know, with the sensation of the brake lever and the clutch, trying to watch out what everybody else is doing, the cars. But out here, your thoughts are occupied by the hum of the tires, in tune with the bike, and just rolling along. Very, very enjoyable. Even yesterday, you know, with that nasty weather, uh, and each time, it takes you up a notch, you know, you fill your uh, your experience bank, yeah, and with these power, power, powerful powerful uh, storm cells, with wind like that and lightning and rain, and eventually you're trying to find its way in. But you can't let the skill you've developed from the experience that you've experiences you've had, you can't let that be hammered down by your mind. You know, when I say that, I mean you get overwhelmed by everything that's happened to you. You don't know where you're going to stay yet tonight. You should be off the road. Everything is soaking wet. You're almost out of fuel. There's lightning. And so you're out of your comfort zone, but you're in it. If you just kind of push that mine thing away it's like rigging up in a parachute and all your gear and strapping stuff to you and it's nighttime and you don't know what's on the ground and go with your skill and your training and that's the same as this go with your skill and your training push that out and get yourself through it and there's a real sense of accomplishment when you do that somewhat proud of yourself 
you know you've made the right equipment selections, great bike, great setup, then you know you can do it. And anything that has adventure in it, there's going to be some risk. But there's a reward for risk. And that's why we do it. Because it makes you feel good. Said it many years ago. Some people stay home and bake cookies. And some people ride in the rain. <laughs>